Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic Park Dino Trackers Pteranodon vs. Sky Patrol. Now, this figure, well, it's not my favorite, but there's a reason why I'm reviewing this. We'll talk about why in a second, but first we'll take a look at the accessories. Now, first of all, we'll talk about this hang glider, and this hang glider is okay. In terms of paint, there's nothing too crazy. Uh, these, uh, you know, this part right here, that's yellow with, uh, bits of black, which are supposed to be, like, rope, or whatever. Um, you yeah, know, we have more yellow up here, and, yeah. And the rest of the paint is just, like, kind of like a camouflage color, which looks alright. Not too crazy, but, again, looks alright. And that's basically it for the paint. It looks nice. I actually really do like how the paint looks on this, so, the paint on this gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the detailing, or not the detailing yet, but the articulation, I mean. And there is none. However, if you want to do this, there's a hole on the back of um, the Sky, uh, Sky Patrol guy's backpack. And you can just plug that in right there. And he is basically on a hang glider. Which looks okay. The only problem with this is that it does not stand whatsoever. Or, he can't stand with it on, so, yeah. Kind of a bummer, but, yeah, whatever. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for the articulation. There is none, so whatever. Uh, the sculpt on this thing is, I mean, it's alright. To me, it doesn't look too aerodynamic, but it still looks good for what it is. So, yeah, so, I guess the sculpt gets a pass. I mean, there's nothing really crazy to point out, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, the detailing on this is, again, decent. Uh, the detailing here looks pretty good. As well as on the hang glider itself, that looks good as well. Not amazing or anything, but just something. There are minor creases in the hang glider, which looks very nice. Actually, a nice attention to detail is that one is actually sticking out more than the other one, which is a nice touch, I have to be honest. But on the back here, we just have some information, so if you want to read that, go ahead. Alright, and that's it for that. Now we'll take a look at the Pteranodon, and the Pteranodon is actually really good. This is actually my favorite out of any of the Jurassic Park 3 uh, mini dinosaur figures, so, yeah. Because the other ones either look, like, too, like, ugly or too just, like, cartoonish. This actually looks like the Pteranodon from Jurassic Park 3, and I do appreciate that, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the paint. And the paint on this figure is not bad. Uh, right here we have the JP logo. Uh, most of this figure is just yellow, but we do have a darker shade of yellow. I don't know if you can see that because uh, my camera isn't really picking that up well, but there is a darker shade of yellow along the back and on the end of the wings right here. And we have a much uh, brighter shade of yellow right here. Again, yeah, I don't think you can tell because the lighting right now is kind of, you know, not working to my advantage, but, yeah, I do apologize for that. Anyway, on the back of the wings, we have uh, black stripes, or not black, but gray, which look nice. Going to the crest, we have more uh, black markings. The eyes are painted black, and for the beak, we have bits of purple here, and none underneath. And the rest of the beak is gray with a purple tongue. And that's pretty much it for the paint. Unfortunately, the toe claws or these claws aren't really painted well, well, at all, so that's kind of a bummer, but it's whatever. The paint on this figure is still okay, so it gets a pass and a half. Now I'll take a look at the articulation. There is none, so let's just get into the sculpt. And the sculpt on this figure is pretty good for what it is. Uh, starting with the head. The head is actually detailed very nicely. Uh, the beak, not so much, but, like, the nostrils right there looks very nice. Or the nostril looks nice, as well as the other one. Uh, we have nice detailing in the head. And we just have more creases and whatnot going down the body, which look very nice. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, because, um, yeah, the lighting right now is kind of being weird with this figure. But, yeah, the toes are detailed nicely as well. And the back of the wings look nice as well. We have more creases and uh, cracks, which looks nice. Also, I don't know if you can see that there, but more information. So if you want to read that, you can. So, 
Yeah, and actually something that's cool that I forgot to point out is that the Pteranodon can basically, or, yeah, can basically like hook on to Billy's arm and basically do that. So, yeah, or, all right, no, that, that's not a good example. I've seen someone do this before, give me a second. There we go, or, I mean, I'm holding up the arm, but, yeah, it basically does that, which is a nice touch. I do like that a lot, so, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the Pteranodon. It's alright. It's definitely my favorite out of the dinosaur, like, minifigures that are out there that came with the human figures, but, nonetheless, it's still nice. So, we'll just put that out of the way. Now, we'll take a look at the main reason of making this video, which is the Sky Patrol Man, or Soldier, whatever you want to call him. And the reason why this is special to me is because this isn't Billy Brennan from Jurassic Park 3, but it's also not Dr. Grant from Jurassic Park 3 as well. Because basically, what they did, they took the body of the Billy Brennan figure, you know, they literally took everything. They didn't bother to repaint it whatsoever, they just took the body. And then they took the head from one of the Alan Grant figures, and they just put it on Billy Brennan's body. And... You could say that this character is kind of like the mascot of my channel because I have officially named this character Dr. Billy Grant. So, yeah. And in all of my other videos, you can see, you know, like, um... Alright. Hold on, give me a second. So, right here, we have the Lego Dress World T-Rex. And yes, um, at one point I actually did pick this up, so... Yeah, I'm actually really happy about this, because I really like this T-Rex, but we're not reviewing the T-Rex. At the end of my video, I'd go something like, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. So, yeah. And this is basically, you know, the figure that I use for my size comparisons at the end of every video. So, yeah. You could kind of say that Billy Grant is, you know, my mascot of my channel and whatnot. So, yeah. Try to think of it as like this. Jurassic Collectibles and... I'm sorry to, uh, you know, like, you know, just brown nose, but, or not really brown nose, but just like, well, yeah, brown nose. Um, so yeah, Doctor, I can't speak today. Jurassic Collectibles has off-color Alan, and I have Dr. Billy Grant as my size comparison character, so, yeah. Um, anyway, I just wanted to explain all of that to you before we talk about the figure. The figure itself is not bad. So, for the paint on this figure, it's actually pretty decent. So, Dr. Billy Grant has kind of like whitish skin, which looks nice. Oh, uh, he has brown hair and brine eye brine? brown eyebrows. I know how to speak, trust me. Um, he has kind of like a sleeveless shirt, which there's not much. It's just gray with uh, bits of blue, which looks alright. And he has various different patches... And, what would you call this? This isn't a, like, I'm not, like, the smartest dude around. I don't know if you've noticed that, but, I don't know if this would be a belt or whatnot, but, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. And we have his backpack right here, which is also his hang gliding thing. So, yeah. And, as I previously mentioned, he cannot stand. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for the shirt right here. His glove is painted kind of like a grayish, like, it's a grayish color, but it has, like, a glossy finish to it, which looks all right. And he has a bracelet right here. I don't know why. It's not a watch, I don't think. It's just a bracelet, so, yeah. Anyway, his pants are blue, and he has a black belt. And he has grayish brownish shoes I believe so yeah that's pretty much it for the paint the paint on this figure is actually very well done so the paint on this figure gets a pass now I'll take a look at the articulation and the articulation is it's not bad but it's kind of weird in my opinion or not weird I understand why they did this but actually I'll talk about that in a second first of all the head can spin 360 the arm can move 360 the legs can move forwards this much and backwards this much. The other arm can move through 60, and for some reason it has like a hinge, or not a hinge, but like it can move upwards 
and this arm can't, which I don't know why they didn't just give the other arm that ability too, but for some reason it's just this arm. I mean, probably to have him hold the Pteranodon, but I mean, other than that, I think that the other arm should have had it too, but... Or, yeah, whatever. But, yeah, other than that, the articulation is still pretty decent for what it is, so, yeah. The detailing, or detailing, the articulation gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt on this figure. And the sculpt on this figure, like I said, is basically just Billy Brennan's body with Alan Grant's head. So, yeah, which, I said this before, but that's why I have named this character Dr. Billy Grant. And he's kind of become, like, a mascot on my channel, so, yeah. And there's nothing really much to say. Um, the Jurassic Park 3 figures, in terms of, like, the human figures, they're not awful looking, but... They're not, like, the best compared to, like, the Kenner figures. So, yeah. Um, there's nothing really much to say other than just it's Billy's body with Alan's head or anything like that. So, yeah. Um, the sculpt is alright, so it gets a pass, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, now we'll take a look at the detailing. And the detailing on this figure is actually pretty good. So, the detailing for his hair looks... Okay, it's not the best, but it's okay. has a really nice uh, shine to it, which is something I should have brought up earlier when we were talking about the paint, but yeah. Anyway, um, the detailing for his shirt looks very nice as well. This, like, in my opinion, this actually looks like leather if you take, like, a close look at it, and I like that. I think that looks nice. And his backpack here is also detailed nicely as well. Uh, his uh, glove is detailed nicely as well. So, yeah, we have creases there, which, yeah, looks nice. His bracelet looks bland, so we're not going to talk about that much. Uh, his belt is actually detailed very nicely as well. And going to the pants, this looks really nice too. Um, it has kind of like that... Um, like that denim feel, and like it has all of like the creases and folds and whatnot. So yeah, it looks nice. And going to the shoes here, they look okay. They're not the best. They're just okay. So yeah. Anyway, that is basically it for the detailing. In some parts, it looks really good, but then there are other parts where it just looks okay. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for the detailing, and the detailing on this figure is. Still alright, so, yeah. And at the end of the day, should you get this figure, I'd say if you want a good laugh, go for it. This figure is not cheap at all. Um, you can get this figure on eBay. The cheapest I've seen for this figure would be like 10 bucks, which really isn't bad compared to other figures in the line. The most expensive I've seen would be around $40, but this is definitely like the cheapest like figure in this line to get. So, yeah. Um, I'd say if you want to laugh and you have, like, ten bucks to spare, I guess this would be a fun figure to get. Um, again, it's not, like, the best or anything like that. If you want, like, something to spend your money on that's, like, you know, better than this, there are a lot of other figures that you can buy, but if you just want a good laugh, I'd say get this, because if you've grown up with the Dress Park 3 toy line, then I'd think you get a big laugh out of, uh, Billy's body with Alan's head, so, yeah. Anyway, if you want to know how big he is, here he is next to Dr. Bill- Oh. Oh, I didn't think this through. Um. Right. Usually Billy's my size comparison, but... Hmm. You know what? Let's compromise. Um. Alright, here he is next to Samurai Jack. So, there you go. You know what? Let's bring in a coup as well. So here is a coup with Dr. Billy Grant and Samurai Jack. You know, let's have Macho Man Randy Savage as well. So there is Macho Man Randy Savage next to a coup, Samurai Jack, and Dr. Billy Grant. You know, I'm willing to go further with this. Here's Alien. And one more figure. Here everybody is next to Marty McFly. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. P oh, um, that's something I forgot to point out. Um, before we go, I would just like to point out that no, there will no be, or er, there will no be, 
I cannot speak today. Um, there will be no video next week, so I do apologize for that. Or there is going to be a video next week, but it's not going to be uploaded Tuesday. So yeah, it'll that video will be uploaded Wednesday. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.